Alright. I'm gonna show you how to make a stencil. You go over here. Pick the picture that you like. And I am gonna pick Jim Morrison. Now I'm gonna go to Microsoft Paint because that's just easiest for my computer to use and it's what I'm familiar with. Go over here, click, drag, and then I'm gonna print him out. So go file, print, boom. So there it is right there printing out. But for your convenience and save time, I already got him printed out right here. So come on over here. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna cut the margins off of the side of the paper like this. Just cut the margin off so you have no white spaces when you tape it, tape the two pieces together like that. And oh yeah, now you just need a little bit of tape. Just a little bit. So hold it in place on the front, like this, and like this, and then flip it over, like that, and get a nice piece and tape down the whole back, like that, and then I'm going to actually just cut this off like this, boom. Cut this like boom. All right. Now you can use an exacto knife or a razor blade. I'm sure there's other things you can use, but personally, I like a razor blade. It's nice and sharp to cut through any object. Not any object, but you know, my paper will definitely cut through that. And now, you get the cutting. Just you know. Cut out all of the black. Because it, just picture if you want to use black spray paint to use your stencil, you want to fill in all the black. So that's what you're going to be cutting out. Boom. Just cut it all out nicely like this. All of this black here. You see how nicely it's coming out? It's coming out to very nice. Very nice is how it's coming out. I don't want to waste too much of your time here, but see, that's why you need tape there. Alright, boom. Keep on cutting out all of the black here. Keep on cutting. Um, Alright, I'm just cut his hair out. I'll make videos later on of how to make bigger images or bigger stencils or whatever, but this is a, or you know, making permanent stencils that you can make on poster board and all that, but I'll make a, other ones for that. This is just, you know, a good start for beginners, just to cut out on computer paper. So, just keep on cutting out all the black here, stay on the lines as you cut with your razor blade. That's also another reason why I like the razor blade, I feel like it gives me more control, so I can have more precise cuts as I do it. I can make less mistakes with it personally, everyone's different. That's your cheap. You can get a box of a ton of them. Not a ton, but. 
I have a box of like a hundred of them that I just kind of found laying around. So see, you see this? This hair is just coming out very nicely. Is it very nice? Is it? Is this hair? This poor out would say. It'd be like it. It's nice. So boom, 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 boom. Okay. Make one cut right here. Perfect. Cut right here now. All right. Now that we got this all cut out, right? Now that we got the stencil all cut. All you gotta do is find the color of paint you want to use. For me, I have black, I have white, I have blue, I have yellow, I have orange, I have another different type of orange, red, green, silver, I have brown, another different type of brown. For mine, um, I have a yellow background here. So I'm going to choose to use orange. And I kind of tested it out as the cameraman was coming down. And orange seemed to work well. So you don't need a lot of paint either when you spray it. Just kind of lightly. Just kind of go with it like this, right? And then lift. And you got yourself... Jim Morrison. Got yourself a nice Jim Morrison stencil right there. It's not hard. It's not a lot of work. Um, subscribe and look out for my next videos. I'm going to post a video every Wednesday. And uh, a few in between the week as well if I can. But um, stay tuned. Every Wednesday I'll put on a new video. Subscribe. Thanks.